Bushmaster, so capable in his own right. I don't think he ever needed Team Spriggs, but he never hesitated to cut those corners. And unfortunately, that's what got us to this point with American Muscle. Did you hear that roar out of, T uh, out of Tim Spriggs? I hear the roar out of Alec Odin. And our nation's capital, weighing 275 pounds, American Muscle, Alex Odin. Alec Odin, who has had his issues with the Mushmaster since Bruiser Strong. When Tim tried to, he, he admitted, he tried to cripple American Muscle. Well, look at this, our official Becky Phillips in the ring here with Tim Spriggs. You remember, he lost his pull. He snapped and almost took off the arm of Becky Phillips, who was kind enough not to press charges, said she doesn't want Tim Spriggs fine. She just wants to come back, do her job. And I, I, I mean, she understands that the job of, of a referee it comes with the territory. Yeah, but that was, that was, um, look, I like Tim Spriggs. Really? I do. I think he's a he's a talented athlete. I think he's got a hell of an upside. However, that was unconscionable. Whoa, well, kind of a new uh, look here for Big Alec Odin. I like it. Well, if you don't, it's too late. Color and elbow tie up. Locking horns. So you're so you're saying I could look like that if I just worked out like Alec Odin. You're, close, you're almost there, buddy. You're almost there. Now, there are very few people can look as good as Alec Odin. But Mushmaster, I mean, he, he may not be as big as Alec Odin, but he has he has that that power behind him that you just don't you don't see it, but it's there when he goes to throw you around. It's technique versus brute power, like we said, and you know. The Mushmaster, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion, black belt, and grappler. He's a man that got, oh wow, wait, he's, wait a second, that's a guillotine. He's got that guillotine. He's a man that left MMA because he was so controversial, was so disliked. Yeah, Some would call it jealousy. He left Brazil, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because he had mastered it. Now, oh. he want, now he wants to master the world of professional wrestling. He says he's here to make millions and millions of dollars. He's here to be a top guy. He's here to climb the mountain, look down upon the valley, and say, I am the man. I am the Mushmaster. And I'll tell you something. He may just get uh -oh. to that point. Uh-oh. What are we seeing here uh -oh. a little bit? Oh, and I think, Tim, I think Tim's trying to draw Alec into his world. That Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know, a lot of it starts with that ground game. You try to lure him in. As, as we've mentioned, Alec Oden, he has an amateur wrestling background. But this but is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the sport that, I said, Tim had mastered, and now he's using it to his advantage to bring down Alec Oden, to break him down and bring him down to the mat. He's trying to take home a limb back to Columbia, Maryland, you know. 2022, Columbia, Maryland was voted the safest. And now we know what? The safest neighborhood in all of America. So I guess that's because Tim Spriggs lives there. Maybe he's the mayor. I mean, who, who's going to tell him no? Who's going to come there and start something with the, the Mushmaster? Oh, on that rear naked joke. He got the body scissors. Now he just switches over trying to break the clasp. And keep in mind, if the arms, those tree trunk-like arms, hold on, shoulders down on Tim Spriggs, if those arms are, or fingers are unclasped, he could break the arm of Alec Oden. And Alec Oden, no matter how much power you have, when you use all of, all of the strength in your body to try and rip that arm, to try and break that elbow, it's going to break. Listen, but Alec, I mean, look at him, using that power to his advantage. Oh, right on his tailbone goes Tim Spriggs. You know, this one may not be pretty. It's like a rhinoceros versus an elephant in there. Damn it, or, or, or rather a, a shark. What would happen if those two collided? But it, I think it there's depends on the element. I think there's going to be... Hey, wait, Alec. And I'm going flying! Wow. Have you ever seen a man that size? 
I, I believe I've only seen one man, the legendary Undertaker, launch yeah, himself, the, huh? The, yeah, the American badass, the Undertaker. And now we got American muscle. He's kind of a badass himself, isn't he? Exactly. I think Tim Spriggs did not see this one coming. He definitely didn't anticipate that Alec Oden would launch himself from the middle of that ring all the way to the outside, as now Alec Oden taking the fight to Tim Spriggs, Becky Phillips in the ring, instituting that 10 count. Alec Oden is another one. That he's deceptively agile. That while he has that power game, he can fly around the ring when he wants to. He doesn't skip leg day, Ricky. That's why he's got that power game in those lower extremities. As you see Tim Spriggs looking like Pinocchio, looking like a rag doll. Oh, yeah, but that elbow, that's rocking the jaw of Alec Oden. But what's Spriggs doing? He's trying to hold on to that top rope. Yeah, he does not want to leave that corner. He does not want to give Alec Oden any more offense. Going low, standard switch. Hold on. Oh, oh my goodness, oh. Hyper extending that knee. That is oh. a brutal, a brutal way to, to break down and, and just decimate your opponent. We, we've heard the saying before, the knee does not bend that way. He is trying to deconstruct American muscle, trying to take away that vertical advantage, trying to take away those tree trunk-like legs where so much of the power of Alec Oden resides. And if he can keep him grounded, if he can keep him on that mat, this is going to be Tim Spriggs' fight to win. And notice Tim Spriggs. He's been able to just shift his offense. Originally, he was going for that arm, looking for that cross arm breaker. But then as soon as Alec pretty much offered up his leg, Tim decided to switch and went for that leg, trying to break down Alec Oden. That, that's what makes him so dangerous, that he, he's able to pick apart any body part and use it to his advantage. Any weakness that you have, Tim Spriggs will exploit it. The R.J. Meyer Arena serving as the Roman Coliseum. He's seasons meetings like the uh, Caesars Gladiator Wars and you were seeing two of the most capable and, and tremendously impressive gladiators in all of MCW as that rear waist lock by Tim Spriggs. And he's leaning all his weight, if you see that, trying to gas out Alec, uh, trying to gas out Alec Oden. And with those added kidney shots, Tim Spriggs may, may very well be on his way to victory in this matchup. And not to be crude, but enough of those kidney shots, you know, the next day you're, you know, urinating blood, you'll know why. The bridge! Oh, Alec will definitely know why. Because he was in there with the Mushmaster, Tim Spriggs. Oh, oh. Easy now. Yeah, Tim taking exception to the count from Becky. And that's the thing here, Ricky. You know, the Champagne Campaign, Team Spriggs, Team Spriggs, was a, it was sort of like a, a caveat. You know, it, it was the sizzle to the steak. But there's plenty meat on the bones for Tim Spriggs. He can get the job done on his own. And he's proven it right here at the behest and at the... The behest of American Muscle. Oh, uh, there's that dance. Yep, at the behest of American Muscle and despite not having his cohorts at ringside. See, that's the thing. The Champagne Campaign, he didn't need it. It was all just pomp and circumstance. Well... Yeah, but he may... May have shown up a little too soon because now Alec Oden is rocking and rolling. Spine to the pine. The cover. Kick out by Spriggs. Alec Oden starting to look gas. Frustration and fatigue beginning to take over on American muscle. Yeah, he's wondering what does he have to do to put the Mushmaster down. And this is his opportunity. This is this may be his best opportunity. No champagne campaign. Tim is on his own. And this is this is the sport that Alec that Alec Oden that he has trained for his entire life. Tim Spriggs, it, it's more of an away game for him from the world of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, but look look at that. Look at him pick that ankle. 
But he's trying to bend it in a grotesque way. Oh my God, the brutality. Look at this now. Oh, not letting go either. Seamlessly rolling through, no contact broken or interrupted. He's got a piece of it and he's looking to take it off. Oh! Into that second buckle, that was all power. How is Alec Odin able to maintain power in those legs and those moves despite having that knee hyperextended? Oh, uh, that was. That was ankle all, picked. It was all adrenaline, but that may have been driven out of him. Mushmaster with that German suplex and he hasn't let go of it. Look at the face of Alec Odin. He's sucking wind right now because that body of Tim Spriggs is just sprawled over the upper portion of Alec Odin's back, just kind of forcing the lungs into your intestine, kind of curving you into a C in a way the body isn't supposed to hold on cover, in He's the way the body isn't su supposed to contort. Trying to squeeze all the air, all the life out of Alec Odin. Tim. Tim, stop worrying about Becky's count. Worry about American muscle. You got That's your opponent. Uh, the, if there's one thing about Tim Sprague, there you go, Becky. Don't take no ish from nobody. If there's one thing about Tim Spriggs, it's that he's got a, he's, he loses his cool. Wow. Oh. Up in the air, Gorilla Press. Oh. With authority, the cover, two. Almost the very first pinfall, some pinfall loss for Tim Spriggs. He has yet to tap. He has yet to be pinned. He is undefeated in that respect here in MCW. His only blemish was the disqualification back at Autumn Armageddon. But as you said, he has yet to be pinned, yet to submit. But Alec Oden may very well be on his way to being able. Oh. Look at he's that. able to take down the Mushmaster, but the body scissors. Got he's got the triangle. And look, prime real estate. He's up on the top rope, so he's got all the leverage. But the problem is he's on the ropes. And Becky, the great official that she is, telling him, you need to release it. You need to be off the ropes. Can't win that match on the ropes. You got that five count. So Tim Spriggs now. Oh, with those Ooh. elbows. He's trying to split the flesh on the top of the head of Alec Oden and have him leaking. This one is so personal, Ricky. This one we knew was going to be a battle. It has not disappointed. Now, when Tim Spriggs, when he tried to cripple Alec Oden back at Bruiser Strong, Alec took deception. He never tried to take him. Korea, that is country strong, baby. Country strong, that's American muscle. Uh, look it for that moonsault. Hit oh. Knees right, right to the midsection of Tim. Cover, two. Oh, but Tim Spriggs able to roll that shoulder out. Alec Oden may not have got all of that moonsault, and that may have been the only thing that saved Tim Spriggs there. I don't know if that was a Hail Mary on the part of Alec Oden. I don't know what else he could possibly have left. His legs that was his, crumbling underneath him. He was able to execute a moonsault. That was his bread and butter. But as we saw it, Tim has been working on that midsection, working on those legs. And that may have been what helped him right there. But Alec Oden, he's feeling it. He's feeling, feeling that energy from the crowd. This is Clash of the Titans. And it looks like Team Spriggs, watching from the back, they have their... Oh, did Becky hit quick? Oh! Low oh. blow for the Bushmaster! Doesn't need to go that route. But he Bullet does. But won't hesitate to go there. He's got the body scissors in conjunction with that rear naked choke and just dispersing his weight and Alec Oden's own weight against him. Just crunching American muscle, uh, troubling in and of himself. Brian, Alec, Alec may be fading. And how could he not with a low blow with that rear naked choke? Oh, Becky's calling it. Alec Odin did not tap, but Becky saw the writing was on the wall. The Mushmaster had American muscle dead to rights. 
And Brent, he did it on his own. Whether whether you consider it, consider it controversial or not, Tim Sprick, the Mushmaster, did it without the Champagne Campaign. Did it without Team Sprick. And he's looking to show that he 